Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at a very interesting developing story where Rachel Ruto has invited Benny Hinn, American, Canadian, Israeli televangelist to Kenya for prayers at the expense of Kenyan taxpayers. All the expenses will be catered by Kenyan taxpayers. And it's actually Benny Hinn who confirmed the invitation. Listen to this before we continue. Just when you so on. But something amazing happened just about, goodness, maybe four weeks ago or so. The first lady of Kenya flew from Nairobi with her team, with her team, just for one reason, to ask me to come back to Nairobi for a nationwide nation government sponsored crusade now we haven't had that in a long time where the first lady of a nation comes and says we want to hold a crusade sponsored and supported by the government the only time i think we've ever had that was in uh, where was that Murray? indonesia somewhere papua papua and but and then uh, same same time came with her Robert Geinger from Uganda and they want to do two crusades in each country so I said okay Lord you still have a little more for me that's Benny Hinn himself confirming that a delegation of Rachel Ruto paid him a visit and requested him to come to Kenya for national prayers is government sponsored so kenyan taxpayers are going to foot that bill i want us to understand what's happening here the main reason why rachel ruto is inviting benny Hinn to kenya and the objective of the invitation before we do that let let me remind you or rather, before we do that, let me remind you of a very interesting event that happened some years back. In November 2004, the CBC television show, The Fifth Estate, did a special titled, Do You Believe in Miracles? on the apparent transgressions committed by Benny Hinn's ministry. With the aid of hidden cameras and crusade witnesses, the producers of the show demonstrated Benny Hinn's, demonstrated Hinn's apparent misappropriation of funds, his fabrication of the truth, and the way in which his staff chose crusade audience members to come on stage to proclaim their miracle healings. In particular, the investigation highlighted the fact that the most disparate miracle seekers who attended Ahin's, Ahin crusades, the quadriplegics, the brain damaged, virtually anyone with a visibly obvious physical condition are never allowed up on stage, those who attempt to get in the line of possible healings are intercepted and directed to return to their seats. Some years back, there were some allegations and rumors that Benny Hinn's church was faking miracles. So this CBC television did some investigations where they found out that Benny Hinn staff cleverly chose crusade audience members 
to come on stage to proclaim their miracle healings. We are told not to judge and I don't want to judge. <laughs> I don't want to judge. I'm just trying to read some investigations that took place some years back. It might be the work of haters again. It's only Benihin and his God who knows where the truth lies in these ladies and gentlemen. So, why has Rachel Ruto invited Benihin to Kenya and what's the motive of that invitation? Let's borrow some words of wisdom from Karl Marx, a German philosopher. Karl Marx is well known for this quote, religion is the opium of the people. Religion is the opium of the people. Religion gives the downtrodden, the poor, the lowly in the society, hope. It blinds them from the current realities, the harsh economic realities of life. Religion blinds them from that. So, religion gives them hope. Benihin is coming to Kenya just purely for that. To give Kenyans hope. And as Benihin gives Kenyans hope, now that he will be coming courtesy to the invitation of Rachel Ruto and likely Kenya Kwanzaa government, as hustlers will be getting that hope, they'll see this government as a God-given government. So their sufferings are just, they'll see their sufferings as just temporary. This is a God-given government. The sufferings are just temporary. And I won't be wrong to say that as Benihin will be holding those national prayers, it's almost certain and very clear that he'll also try to reinforce this notion that Kenya Kwanzaa is a blessed government, a God-given government. And that's meant to brainwash Kenyans into seeing Kenya Kwanzaa as the ordained government. So William Ruto and his team will still continue oppressing Kenyans Yes, using religion. I think that's what, exactly what is happening here. And uh, before I conclude, let me also say this. The Bible is very clear that you will know them with the kind of fruits they produce. In the one year of Ruto's rule, we have seen terrible things. For the very first time, we have seen tribalism at its best. An ordained government, a God-given government, cannot divide people along ethnic and tribal lines. If you never voted for us, forget about government services. An ordained government, a God-given government, should be fair and just. We have seen leaders in this government threatening assassinations on some individuals. I don't think a God-given government can even threaten an assassination. That if you don't do this, the con will do this. I don't think that can be a God-given government. So Benihin is coming here purposefully to brainwash Kenyans into believing that indeed Kenya Kwanzaa is God's ordained. And it's very unfortunate that some Kenyans will believe, believe him because Benihin is a respected spiritual leader. Hmm? He's a worldwide respected spiritual leader. And there are some followers of Benihin or even not followers people 
who believes in him. Rather, who believe in him. So anything Ben him says, some people believe. That's why Rich Rutum has clearly invited him to Kenya. Let's meet in our next analysis. This is a topic we can discuss a whole day. Let's meet in our next analysis. But what Kenya should know here, Kenya Kwanza wants to use religion to brainwash them, to make them forget about the government's failures. And that's largely how William Ruto campaigned last year. Mm -hmm. Churches everywhere. So it's not actually going international. Let's meet in our next analysis.